Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of the Game Dev Tutorials. Um, today we are focusing on losing and restarting the game thereafter. We're going to do it in a simple fashion to start with and we can improve on it later. Uh, first thing we're going to do is create a gameplay class, which I mentioned before in a previous video. Um, that's why we have that gameplay folder. So we're going to do that. We're going to move world into the gameplay class. We are going to pass a delegate into world from gameplay in order to restart the world eventually. We are going to um, display text saying you lost and press enter. And we're going to do this when uh, the hero is dead. Uh, so, yeah. And then after the hero is dead and you press enter, then we will restart by calling the delegate so that's our goals alright here we go um, so first things first we are going to come in here we are going to create our gameplay class in source just add a new class we're gonna call it gameplay and add it um, we're gonna get all our Includes and stuff put together. All right, public. Uh, let's see, public gameplay. Shouldn't need any parameters. Virtual void update again doesn't need parameters. Public virtual void draw and again no parameters. Okay, um, we will need. An extra function. Um, this will be what the delegate calls to reset the world. So it's a pretty simple function, but let's work through it. Eventually, this uh, function we will thread it, and yes, we will go through that eventually. So reset world. Um, remember, we have to pass in an object. And then in gameplay, we are going to have uh, int play state. It's kind of like the game state, but for gameplay. Because you'll probably have menus, a load menu, maybe a new game uh, menu, stuff like that. So you're going to want to have a play state. Um, and that's within, he within the gameplay class, or at least that's how I do it. You could do it, I guess, parallel to gameplay and parallel to main menu if you felt like it. Um, or you could do it as a sub of main menu as well. Um, this is how I do it. So, um, you know, is what it is. Lots of ways to do it. No wrong way. Pick the way that you feel most comfortable with. This, um, we don't have the variable for world. World, world, world equals new world. Okay. And then when we reset the world, literally all we're doing for right now is saying world equals new world. Which means really we could just say reset world null. So that will do the trick um, as well. Uh, and it keeps it more consistent. So that just creates a new world. Yay. Um, now, in update, we're going to say we're only updating world if the play state equals zero, right? So then we have world.update. And same thing for draw, right? So we're only updating world if the play state is zero. Now, if we were on like a different menu, the play state could be one, could be two, could be whatever. Um, that will take care of that. And oh, this one's vector two inside of it. All right, now if we pop out to main, uh, we no longer have a world here, we have gameplay. Okay, and then wherever world was, here we go. Gameplay equals gameplay. And then in update, and then in draw, but we don't need this. Okay, 
So that takes care of that. We've now added gameplay to our uh, pipeline, and we've come in. We've made a very simple gameplay class. Again, this will end up threaded later um, and probably have some reflection in it, but we haven't covered threading or reflection, so we're not going to deal with that exactly right now, and then we'll deal with it another time. Okay, um, and then we have to go into world. So um, in here, we know when our hero is dead already, which is great. Um, we set that up last time. Um, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to stop updating all this stuff um, when hero is dead. So hero dot dead. Right, and we set that up last time. So we have that. And then we have, we're going to say else. Um, and then uh, we want to test to see if our keyboard is uh, pressing enter. Right. So if you remember right, we were, it's just a simple if. And then we have globals.keyboard dot get press and then enter um, if you're ever wondering how to figure out if it's the right text for your key just type in keys which is the mono game thing and it's the exact same text as you would see here so if I push E and you can you can see enter is one of them um, that's uh, how you can figure out what the text should be all right um awesome so if oh you know what we didn't do in world uh, in gameplay we did not create our delegate so we need in world sorry we'll start here uh, when we create world we want to pass in a delegate so um, we need to save as well so pass object uh, reset world and then pass object reset world and then reset world equals reset world okay and then in gameplay now uh, we need to pass in um, reset world they do not have to be the same name I just made them the same name um, they, they oh that's the wrong one we need to pass in reset world here um, this stays null. Um, the reason that I'm using the same names is because it helps me keep track of it. Um, that could be confusing to you. If it is, name it something different. No big deal. Name it whatever you want. But, um, for me, it helps my brain keep track of it because it's kind of the same name all the way through. And then it's easier to find. Okay, so, um, we have that. So, here, once we do this, we're going to say... Just reset world. No. Okay, so that'll reset the world. Um, but we want to do some uh, some text, right? Like we, we want for sure to to uh, know that all this is happening. So here we can say um, the reason I'm not wrapping this in the in, in the if statement is because uh, I want it to still draw. It'll just kind of freeze it because it'll stop updating. Um, I I like that aesthetic better, right, so that's why I chose it. If you don't if you don't want to see this anymore, after it, you know you die, then just wrap that in the if statement in an if statement. So if hero dead, and so this one would say if hero not dead. If you if you want to wrap that, um, we're gonna have our string. Um, you know what? We're gonna need a font as well. So, uh, yeah, definitely a font. We could do this in UI. Let's do it in UI. That'll be better anyway. So let's take this. Let's go into UI. And then uh, right in here. Let's just do it at the end. So if hero dead, hero's not just hero anymore. It's world hero dead and then we're gonna say uh, well, I don't know what should we make it say let's, let's grab this wonderful line here 
actually, we'll probably want all of this. But we no longer have to declare them, so we're just reusing them. Uh, reusing them, that's uh, going to be a little bit more efficient because you're not creating a new variable. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, and then here we're going to have, let's say, uh, press enter to restart. That works. Uh, don't mind my steam going off. Um, anyway, so we've got that. Put that in. Color black. That should probably be fine. Let's put this in the middle of the screen, which is height over 2. And then this is actually already the middle of the screen. Perfect. All right, let's see. That should work. Uh, as long as I, again, have not broken the world, uh, it should work. All right, so this is our... Oh, I broke something. It's not updating, which means I probably didn't put a not sign in. Let's see. Um, world. If you're not dead. Yeah, a little, little not sign. Pretty important. Let's try that again. All right. Now we're talking. So we're going to die on purpose, obviously. Remember those still work and there everything's has stopped we press enter and we have restarted the game so that was our goal for today um, just to be able to lose and to restart the game um, in my opinion it's one of the major things that a game has to be able to do um, and we are doing it um, I have a ton of things up on my computer so there's actually a tiny bit of lag if you can see it in the game um, that's that's just my uh, Jeez, I keep clicking off that thing. Anyway, um, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that like button. It really helps uh, YouTube uh, direct more traffic towards the, the videos. Um, otherwise, we are going to keep pushing on this. I'll try to get another one out either late this weekend or early next week. Uh, my son has a soccer tournament, so that's going to take up a lot of my time, but I will still try to get one out. All right. Have a good one, guys, and I will talk to you later.